Cheater, you mumbled and tears started coming from your eyes. You stepped backward and stumbled, but Dehang is quick to catch you. When Junko also tried to come, but you stopped him. You're feeling like your whole world shattered. You ran outside while wiping your tears, and Dehang called you, but you ran. And I will smoke appear on Lauren's face. Chanko hurt at seeing you like this. He declared at Lauren and ran behind you. You did all this on purpose, right? He said while greeting his seat. Lauren chuckled while he grabbed her throat and she hissed in pain. You will have to pay for this. Just wait and watch. He said and jerked her away and left from there. You are running and Jungkook is also running behind you. Why in? Why in? Please listen to me. It's not that. What are you thinking? He said. You are running while wiping your tears which is coming from your eyes without your permission. You are running on road without any care when Jungkook see a car coming towards you and he quickly ran and pulled you towards himself. Have you gone mad? He shouted while grabbing your shoulder. You pushed him, making him away from you. Yes, I am mad. I am mad that I was doing the same mistake again. You shouted. I am mad that I fall for that love trap again. I am mad I started trusting you. I am mad that I made myself weak again. I am mad. Did I fall for you? You shouted top top of your lung. Tears continuously coming from your eyes. His eyes widen and he when he tries to approach you but you begged. Don't touch me, you said in a broken voice. I can explain ex- everything. Please listen to me once, he said in a soft tone. You did the same what your brother did. Tears continuously coming from your eyes and you are not in condition to listen to anything. You are feeling unbearable pain. You are feeling betrayed again when you try to move on. While Jungkook is trying to explain. One picture is continuously coming in front of your eyes. You walked and Jungkook followed. You sit in the car and asked the car to drive. Jungkook stopped you, closing the door. You tried to close but failed. Mayan, please listen to me. He looked at you but you didn't look at him and turned your face to the side. He is continuously dropping from your eyes and he loosened the grip from the door and you closed it with a loud thud and left from there. And Jungkook stand there looking at the car until it disappeared from his side. Young put his hand on his shoulder. Jungkook, why weren't you picking up her calls? Jungkook didn't say anything. He is looking down. Clears the misunderstanding. She is hurt more this time because she is deeply in love with you. Jungkook looked up at him and his throat became heavy and tears started to come out from his eyes. And I know you also love her. The tears in your eyes telling the truth because I have never seen tears in your eyes before. He looked at the side to hide his tears. You were in your shared bedroom and sitting on the floor while hugging your knees. Why? Why, Jungkook? Why you did this to me? Why this is hurting so much? It didn't hurt me that much when you know cheated on me. Why my heart is not accepting that you could do this to me? Hi, Jungkook. You burst in tears. Jungkook came and hurriedly rushed upstairs to bedroom and found out the door is locked from inside. 
He is about to knock when he heard tear snuffings. He felt like someone stabbed his heart thousand times. He also don't know why he is feeling like that. His heart is fighting with his mind. He gathered all his courage and knocked, but you didn't respond. He knocked again, but you didn't respond. He tried to calm himself. Chunko called Michael to bring the spare key of the room. After a while, Michael came and gave it to Chunko. He unlocked the door, and his heart dropped, seeing your condition. When you come out to washroom, washing your face and your eyes red and puffy, anybody can understand that you cried a lot. You looked at him and then looked away, and you take your phone and was going out of the room, but he grabbed your wrist, making you stop. I haven't cheated on you," he said in low voice, and you are back facing him. You close your eyes, trying your best not to cry. Leave my hand. I won't until I finish. Saying he stand in front of you and stare in your eyes. I don't want to listen anything. You said and tried to leave there, but he grabbed you again and pinned you against the wall. And you could smell alcohol from his mouth as his face is closer to yours. I said I didn't cheat on you. Can't you understand that? He shouted, making you flinch as tears formed in your eyes. Is this a way to explain your side, huh? I don't know how to explain myself. I don't know what I'm feeling right now, but I know I can't cheat on you. I can't think something like this to do with you, even not in my dreams. He said softly, "Tear escaped from your eyes while he wiped it from his tongue. He covered your face. You can see sincerity in his eyes and pain which you have never seen before. It is just he can't explain how he's feeling out right now. Both sharing." and i contact with pain inside it you don't know what are you saying because you are drunk you said well sadly chuckling when he pulled your face closer to him and finally a tear escaped from his eyes even if i am drunk but i know what i am saying and what i am doing and saying this he rested his forehead on yours you closed your eyes trust me you are the first and last and only woman in my life i have so much to say but i have no clue how to say while your heart is doing marathon and you lost in the moment which you to having right now your heart melt and you want to trust him because the truth is always not what you see and you hugged him tightly and cried in his arms and miracle this time janko hugged you back i hate you you said cutely while crying and unknowingly a chuckle left from his mouth in you broke the hug after a while you looked at him with teary eyes and your tears aren't stopping and when he wiped again I don't want to trust what I have seen. I want to trust you. And you hugged him again. I'm glad you didn't trust that. If I will meet her again, I will teach her a good lesson. You said while gritting your teeth, Benjamin and they chuckled. Possessive wife. By the way, I heard He cried last night. Almost. He was drunk. Now he is back to his cool nature. I knew it. I wish I have recorded it. You said while taking sip from your coffee. You know, right? He is John Jungkook. Coward John Jungkook, who is afraid to accept his feelings. You said jokingly while rolling your eyes. 
एंड वेन यू हर्ड अ वॉइस विच मेड यू गर्ल हार्ड रियली ही सेड वाइल कमिंग क्लोजर टू यू इन यूर आईज वाइड एंड एंड ब्रेथ हिच इन ही लीन क्लोजर टू योर फेस इन योर चेक्स आर बर्निंग वेल्थी एंड जेम इन लुकिंग एट यू ट्रोलिंग देर लाफ योर हार्ट स्टॉप फॉर अ वाइल सीरियर अगेन ही सेड इन हक्स की वॉइस एंड यू गर्ल एंड नर्वसली लाफ माई फोन इज रिंगिंग You said nervously, and then you pushed him and ran from there as fast as you can. Well, Jamin and Tehang laughed out loud. Jungkook was smiley when he noticed, and quickly switched back to his cold expression again. Why I'm smiling? He said in mind. Mm-mm. Someone fall in love? He said while high five with Jamin and Jungkook glared at them. What was that? My heart popped out from a second. Okay, stop. I'm not a coward. I accept that I have feelings for him, but he didn't. Why I ran from there? Ah, uh, why and he never said that. If he has, because he is hurt like Jan Jungkook. Yes, I'm the one who sent the sniper to kill her. But lucky her she survived. I called her yesterday. And yes, I will kill her. What can you do, huh? She said while smirking. Janko grabbed her throat and gritted his teeth. I'll tell you what can I do. And pulled out his gun and pointed on her forehead while she laughed like a maniac. Do you think if you kill me my dad will leave you? She's not scared of anyone. You laid your hand on wrong person. All the time you were after me, but by dragging Wyan, you invited your greeted his teeth. You are a psycho, Lauren. You don't know what the difference between love and obsession. Jungkook pushed her and making her fall on the ground and shoot her. Clean this mess, he said to his men. Jungkook brushed his fingers in his ears and punched on wall. Are you okay? He said worriedly. Yes. Why you seem scared? I'm not scared for myself, but for why and right? He just look at him. No one will enter in the house. Do you understand that? He said to his men. They bowed. Copy boss. They said. While you come downstairs and raise blows by seeing bunch of bodyguards, and they all left. Are you done? Can we go now? Hmm. He hummed in his response. Why and you are late. We are going. When Jungkook noticed you. Yep. I think you are lost already. But where? You ask confusingly. On trip. He said with serious face, and you looked at him in disbelief. Of course, on mission, but you lost already. Now accept the truth. He said teasingly while Jungkook looked at you three in confusion. Have you done, or shall I go alone? He said coldly to Tae and Jimin. No, let's go. Bye, bye, and be ready. He said while smirking and Jimin also smirked. And they are about to leave when you call Jungkook, making him stop. He turned and raised his brows. You take slow steps towards him while Jimin and Taehang made O face and you winked at them, making Jungkook confused. And you stand in front of him. What? Actually, I. You couldn't say what you want to say, and he poked his tongue in inner cheek while Jimin and Taehan looking at you too curiously. And you take a long breath and then grabbed his collar and kissed him on his cheeks. Jungkook eyes widened, and also Taehan and Jimin. You ran from there, while Jungkook dumbfounded and his. Ear turned red, and his heart is ready to explode.
They're completed and I won. You shouted from upstairs and Jungkook looked at them while they gulped. But kiss means you have to kiss him on his lips, not on cheeks, Jimin shouted back. You didn't say that. And when Jungkook looked at you, and you quickly ran inside your room. They smiled nervously when Jungkook glared at them. <laughs> that was a dare, he said nervously. And Jungkook raised his brows. Jimin she ran. He shouted the last word and they ran for their life while you giggled peeping on them. You are blindfolded and struggling as your hands are tied and someone open your blindfold and you open as you see two old men and found yourself in an unknown place. They were smirking at you. You can't speak as tape on your mouth. You were glaring at them. Sophia did a great job. I want that Chion on his knees. I want to take revenge on him for everything, he said while dating his teeth. I want to kill this. He killed my daughter because of this girl. He gulped his drink. Don't worry, he'll come when I call him. But before, I think we can take advantage, he said while smirking at you. You can feel his intention the way he's looking at you. With his dirty gaze and... After a while he come towards you and touch your face and you feel disgusted by his touch. She is beautiful though and hot too. You hella scared now because his intentions are not good and Jungkook also don't know where you s- since he is on mission. You got a call that your dad's condition is not good. You got worried and yes, Jungkook said you not to step out from the house without him. But you can't leave your dad too. So you went with some bodyguards with you and went in hospital and you found out there Sophia. You were surprised but you said your guard to wait outside. Sophia put a handkerchief on your face. You were going unconscious when you heard. I'm sorry, Vyan, Sophia said, and you got unconscious and found yourself here. He removed the tape from your mouth when you did glare at him as his dirty hands touched your lips and you couldn't help as your hand tied behind the backside. You don't touch me, you shouted while he laughed and grabbed your hair and you hissed in pain. Don't you dare to raise your voice. No one is here to save you. I will call your husband but after completing my work, he said while smirking. This age of your daughter, Frank, come on, just call Jungkook, I want to kill her in front of him. That would be easy punishment, don't you want to see this girl in pain? After all, she is the reason of your daughter's death. I want my revenge, do whatever you want to do but keep her alive, I will kill her with my own hands. He started touching you while you felt helpless and tears formed in your eyes and you avoiding his touch and he opened your ropes. I want to see you struggling sweetheart. And you slapped him hard, making his face go a side impact of tight slap. Tied this, she got so much cuts. He slapped hard on your cheek. And his man tied you again when he said to his man. And your heart stopped. And one tore your sleeves and tears started coming out from your eyes. I didn't even start it yet. You started crying. Another one is going to touch you when you heard a gunshot. And the man fall on the floor when your eyes landed on the person. And tears automatically coming out from your eyes. And you painfully smile. His eyes is all red and he is fuming in anger when Frank's man attacked on him. But Taehyung, Jimin and Jungkook's fan started to shoot them and Kang slowly stepped out from there and Frank is shocked how he got to know because he was going to call him. Have we gone mad, Sophia? How dare you? He yelled at her. I'm sorry, Jungkook. I have no other option. 
the hostage in Wu and that was blackmailing me. I did this to save Yun Wu. I couldn't help because they swept their guard with his. He wants you, Jungkook, but I don't trust him. Save Vyan. The politician is also involved. If he did something to her, I will kill you, Sophia. They have taken her with them. I'll tell you the location. Go and save Vyan first. He put his gun on back and punched the man who was holding you. He fall on the ground when he hovered above him and punched him back to back mercilessly. How dare you to touch her, he shouted. And then he take out his gun and shot on his head. And Frank is going to run when Tehan grabbed him. Where are you going, huh? He said and he punched him. You know that you will not win with us. Yet he messes with us, huh? Punch him again. And finally Jungku got up and his eyes landed on you. And his expression totally changed from fierce to soft. And he come towards you and removed his coat and covered you with his coat. And hugged you tightly. And you broke down in his arms and tears continuously dropping from your eyes. Shh, I'm here, he said while patting your back. After a while, he broke the hug and covered your face and wiped your tears with his thumb. But your tears aren't stopping because of the horrible thing going to happen with you. He was scared what if he didn't come at the right time what have happened with you. And he take you in his embrace again and his thought become heavy by seeing your condition. And after a while, he broke the hug. Frank pulled out his gun and hit they hung with his gun which made his vision bl little blurry. He is going to shoot him but Jungkook noticed and shot him on his hand. His gun fall on the ground and Jungkook kicked him. He fall on the ground. Are you okay, Hyung? He asked him who is wiping his bleeding nose. He noted that Jungkook squeezed his hand where he got shocked and he has in pain. How dare you to touch her, you? I will kill you. He kicked him and bent down to his level and punched his face mercilessly. Jimin is busy, another of his men busy handling Frank's man. And on the other hand, you were standing in corner when someone put a handkerchief on your mouth and dragged you from there. Jungkook pulled out his gun to shoot him, but he started laughing like a maniac, which made Jungkook confused. You have came here to save your wife, but she will die. And he pointed in the direction. Jungkook looked at the direction where he is pointing and saw a black Mercedes leaving from there. And he looked for you, but you were not there. But he gritted his teeth and shot him. And he ran downstairs and sat in his car and followed the car. That car was far away that he can't shoot and after a while he reached a mountain valley with the politician coming while smirking and he pointed gun towards Jungkook. Where is Vyan? He asked while taking slow steps. Still alive but not for long. She will die in front of you. There is a police van also when a man came out from and said work is done and he smiled seven minutes and you will not able to see her dead body too we will take care of it he said to Kang and he nodded and handed gun to him and sit in his car but when he said the car blasted and the man who is holding Jungkook laying on the ground nice shot and game of Kang he said standing with the RPG and Tehang shot the man over holding him and Jungkook quickly got up and ran towards the car to check on when he see Vyan handcuffed in car and tape on her mouth. She looked at him and shook her head as her both hand handcuffed with the handle. The door locked from inside and Jungkook couldn't open it. Tae and Jimin also come and Jungkook shoot on the mirror to break it and unlock the door and open the door and remove the tape. Jungkook, please go. There is a you said while crying. Jungkook didn't listen as he looked at the bomb which is inserted in the seat. The timer is on in 1 minute 30 seconds left. He looked at the handcuff and shoot on it but it didn't break. 
Sanko please go you said while crying while he continued doing his work and remained silent Jungkook fast he said worriedly why don't you listen to me please go why are you putting yourself in danger i am doing this he suddenly shouted he shouted and shot at the handcuff again and it got broke and you looked at him with teary eyes and he quickly take you out of the car hyung he gestured him and give your hand to him te you looked at him confusedly we junko i handled that only 20 second left but he already sit on driver seat you understood what he is going to do no junko no you tried to go after him but te ho is holding your hand tightly and he drive so fast to take the car away from all of you or else everyone that will die Jungkook no you shouted top of your lungs while crying in mess and he take the car in the speed to take the car to throw out of the valley while you are crying in mess and Taehyung stand in front of you to control you 20 second only left i drove as fast as i as i can to take the car away from them or else everyone will die i open one side gate to jump i reach at the corner and i jump and the car fell from the valley and i grabbed the edge of the mountain when the car blasted you heard the blast sound and fell on your knees and crying in mess while jimin quickly ran towards the edge to see as junko was trying to climb his as he jumped before the car fell from valley jimin sighed in relief you scared us to death he extended his hand and he grabbed and jimin pulled him up and he both laid on the ground and breathing heavily stop going to gym you have become beast my whole energy vanished he said while breathing heavily and he punched him and get up when you were crying badly and they have moved the side from your front and you see janko coming towards you and you smile while crying and run towards him and hugged him tightly and he hugged you back and you were still sobbing and jimin they hung chuckled looking at you both you cried like there is no tomorrow and when he heard your sobs he try to break the hug but you hugged him more tightly like you don't let him go away from you yn he said softly but still crying i hate you you said while crying and they hung and jimin chuckled i know and he tried to broke the hug but you hugged him more tightly again he is alive yn stop crying he said teasingly but you st- are still crying in mess i stop crying yn if you cry like this whole place get flooded and we all die by drowning in yn's tears he said teasingly you broke the hug and kicked him while jungkook and tehan chuckled and jimin acted like he's hurt jungkook looked at you while you looked at him angrily he is about to say but you ran from there and he followed you why and he shouted while running don't talk to me you shouted back just a while ago she was ready to leave him and crying in mess and now running away from him he said while scratching his head married life and they both followed you to you are treating his wound but not talking to him and he just observing your actions and staring at you why in he called your name but you are giving him silent treatment and he called you again don't distract me you said coldly you treated all his wound and go got up to go from there but he held your wrist but you was in pain and he leave as he looked at the dark pick mark on your wrist but you pull your wrist back let me but you walked and suddenly you felt you are in arms he lifted you in his arms let me go you said irritatedly okay stop it now he said coldly and let in high pitch and he made you sit on the bed and he sat on his knees and take your wrist and look at the mark i will do by myself he shushed you while glaring at you because he's back to his anger mode and he applied 
ointment on it while you rest in pain. He slowly applied the ointment on your old bruises and sits beside you. You two stares in each other's eyes and let their eyes speak to each other. They are sharing an eye contact with full of love, care and fear. When your eyes got filled and you looked away, he is still staring at you with his cool gaze. You don't have to put yourself in danger because of me. You should have think of saving your life. Yes, that's why I saved you. You felt goosebumps and you looked at him with open eyes. And he got up from there and left from the room while your heart is beating faster. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry for everything, she said with an apologetic look. While Jungkook standing folding his hand across the chest and anger is clearly visible on his face and you looked at him but remained, he remained silent. Forgive us, I know what we have done to you has no apology. You know, then why are you asking for? And you hold his hand to stop and he looked at you. You know, let's just forget what have happened and move on our lives and live peacefully and happily. Start with the new big name with no regrets. Jungkook looks at you like he is surprised but didn't show it when Sophia and Yenwoo looks at you with a little smile. But you said that I'm not deaf, you said confusingly. You heard wrong. Jimin Shi, you were there, right? He said that while Jimin smiles internally. Ryan, you misheard. He didn't say those three words. He said while controlling his smile. And when did I say that three words, huh? Chanko glares at Taehyung while Taehyung slaps himself internally. Uh, I mean, what you said, he confessed so. You looked at three of them and irritably and stomped your foot and run upstairs while Jimin and Taehyung burst in laughter. Why you said us to lie her, huh? I also heard you said, Because I love you, Jimin said in his tone and laughed out loud and Jungkook out glares at them. Bro, just accept that you love her and wait deeply. And when did I say that I don't? Jimin Taehyung made O face and looked at him wide open eyes. And Taehyung hugged him. Finally, you realize you have hurt too? Oh no. Now he won't say I am hurtless John Jungkook. Love feelings are trash. He mimicking him. But then why you said us to lie her? Jungkook smiled and looked at them when Jimin spoke. I like this Jungkook more. Your smile telling everything. Taehyung raises bro. Really? You want to? They were scattered as Jungkook put his palm on his mouth. Right. Now just shut up and help me, Jungkook said. I'm not deaf. I heard he said that. I don't understand this man. What he really feels. Does he really loves me? Or I'm the one? Who is falling harder for him? God, why? Why always me? He is colder than I can imagine. No, no. He is not cold. He is stone. Jerk. You said to yourself and come out of the bathroom when you see Jungkook and you roll your eyes and close the door with a loud thud and glares at him. While he just found his bros and take some files and left from there. I mean, how even I can fall for a stone? It's better I would have fallen in love with the statue. At least my life would have been romantic, you said while pouting. Chanko closed the door and smiled internally while shaking his head. This is any kind of prank, so please don't do Taehyung. I am really not in a mood. You said it literally. Why in? Do you think is this time to do a prank? Come quickly. And I have sent guards. Please come. They, but he ended the call. 
That's not hospital. You asked to the guard. Boss told me to drop here, ma'am. Okay, you got off from the car and the place is so quiet and dark. No one is there. And when you see Jungkook coming and you run towards him. Do you really enjoy when I'm worried, right? You said uh, frustratedly. No. You rolled your eyes and turned to leave. And he grabbed your wrist and pulled you closer to him. And your head get hit to his heart chest. Did I ask you to leave? Let me go. Jungkook wrapped his arms around your waist and pulled you more closer to him, leaving no gap between you two. And your cheeks turned red and you gulped hard. I have never imagined that I would say this. Today my heart won against my mind. I don't know, I have never been so scared of losing something in my life. And then again, nothing in my life has ever meant as much to me as you do. While your heart beating faster and you are feeling ticklish and mixed emotion inside you and your breathing is un- abnormal. This is my confession. As dark as I am, I will always find enough light you to pieces with all of my pieces. Saying this, he kneeled down in front of you and lights on. And you cover your mouth and he took out the ring from his pocket. I fell for you unexpectedly. Now I have planned to be with you forever. I love you. So Mrs. John, will you marry me again? He said smiling while tears fell in your eyes. And you are speechless and could not process what just happened. Come on, Vyan, say yes, he shouted from behind. Say yes, Vyan, finally I will get the chance to attend your wedding, he also shouted. Come on, say yes. When you looked all around their eye of family and friends, you extended your hand and there is a white smile on your face with tear. He slides a ring in your finger and got up when everyone clapped. He kissed on your hand looking in your eyes and tear dropped from your eyes when he wiped. No more tears. I want to see you happy. You chuckle and hug him tightly. I'm not an easy person to handle, he whispered. I know right and I love challenges. I love you. I love you more. And you smile at him when your dad gave your hand to him. You're looking handsome. You mouthed to him when he just smiled. Do you take John Wayne as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you take John Jungkook as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Come closer and your heart beat go crazy. He wrapped hand around your waist and looked in your eyes. May I? He asked. And you chuckled and nodded when he attached his with yours. It's passionate yet soft and full of love and care. And everyone clapped. I would have never imagined seeing him getting married and happy, he said while wiping his fake tears. Oh, I also want to get married. I'm feeling so single right now. Then I touched the forehead and tears started dropping from both of your eyes. You are the best thing ever happened in my life. I still can't believe it feels so dreamy. I love this side of yours more. I have never imagined that you can be this much romantic. You haven't seen that side of mine yet. And your cheeks turned crimson red and you blushed hard when he kissed you on your forehead. The love doesn't meet you at your best, it meets you at your mess. The end. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe and comment down. Try not to mess up but ending up messing up. If you don't like it, I don't mind. But I'm trying my best. Those who like it,
थैंक यू फ्रॉम बॉटम ऑफ माई हार्ट